guys, so today I'm doing a chit chat get ready with me and I already have my foundation on because I am doing a first impression on this foundation here, the Givenchy Photo Perfection. That video will be up soon. So recently someone suggested that I should do cocktail themed makeup tutorials and then I ran it by you guys and you guys were like hell yeah and a recent chit chat get rid of me so I thought I would start today and I did do a picture the other day saying do you guys want me to do another Shenixo Vash Cosmetics tutorial and it got 442 comments okay so I think you guys want to see it. So I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics palette today and I'm also going to use some other eyeshadows too. I'm just going to play around. The cocktail I've picked first because my palette is quite new neutral but it's got this like hint of like this greeny color I feel like this cocktail here is perfect and this is a 56 julep so it's like bourbon mint ice and is it soda water hold on no brown sugar there you go for my next one I'm definitely gonna do something super colorful but today I'm gonna do like neutrals with a hint of green and just like be inspired by this color theme this color palette right here so let's just jump in I don't even know let's start with the eyebrows I'm just using my eyebrow groomer brush to brush my hairs out and then I have been obsessed with this over the last like week or so. I mean I already liked it but I was just like using this again recently. The Benefit Browsings. This is shade 3 and it looks like this and it just oh my gosh for a powder like usually powders for me don't go on very smoothly like they go all like just powdery looking and they don't look good in my eyebrows but this one like oh it's magic. This powder almost goes on like a pomade like it's so smooth. Like look at that so sharp. I just do lots of little strokes in my eyebrows to fill them in. Now I have my Gimme Brow in shade 3. Now I'm going to take some lip balm. This one's by Walita. It's the Berry... No, I want Berry Red. Lip Balm in Rose. I love the color of this, but I don't know how... <clears throat> moisturizing it is. Okay, onto the eye makeup. I'm going to use my Natasha Denona eyeshadow at base in the shade 1 light. I'm going to use this unicorn brush by Tarte. The only one I don't like the feel of is the big pink one because it feels too flimsy. But the other ones feel like decent. They're very synthetic, but they feel quite dense. So I'm going to try it to blend out my primer. It's working really well. I'm trying to find like a green eyeliner, but they're all very like forest green and not minty green. This one's probably the closest. So this one here is, oh, mint <laughs> by Makeup Geek. I'm just going to go straight into my waterline straight away. It's doing it quite heavy, so it kind of like droops down a little. Oh, there goes the tip. It's very creamy. <laughs> now I'm going to use a crease detail brush to blend this out. Just softly underneath. I actually really like these eyeliners. They're nice and easy to blend. And they're super creamy. Like, they don't hurt when you draw them on. So I'm going quite low, as you can see. We're going to play with this color later on. Once I've done my top lash line, we'll come back. Or well, my top lid, I should say. Because I do want to add some more dimension. I don't want to just have this light mint color. I want to have some darker color too. Because when you actually look at like a mint plant, it's not exactly like this color. It does have some darker bits. Now, let's go on to the top lid. So first, I'm taking a crease blender brush. And I'm going to take this like yellowy color with a tiny bit of this color mixed in. And that's going to go straight into the crease. Don't worry if it gets on the lid because we're going to clean everything up later. It's going to go all the way in. As you can see, these eyeshadows are super pigmented, but they're really easy to blend, so don't panic. And then I'm going to go back in with more of the yellowy color, because if you look at this picture, like the ice, like the effect of ice on bourbon makes it like this yellowy, really warm, beautiful color. This makes me sound like an alcoholic or something. I'm, I'm really not, I promise. I'm blue again. Stupid lighting. You can take a blender brush and just soften at the edges. And then I'm going to go in just straight with that terracotta kind of brown color because it's a very like bourbonish color. And I'm going to press this straight on the lid on the back half. And this is just the same crease blender brush by the way. So I'm just going to tap it like that and then do the other eye and then we'll blend it. So I've wiped off the excess off my brush so now I'm just going to sweep that through the crease again. 
and then kind of blend away at that line just there. Don't worry about it too much because we're adding another dark color on the inner corner. I'm actually going to place down a little more of my primer for this inner corner color because we're going to use some duochrome. I just want it to really pop. Now I'm going to take that same brush. I'm going to use that duochrome like it's hard to explain. I'm just going to show you. It's like green, purple, brown, like all of it. Like it reminds me of avocado. Okay. It's exactly what I had in mind when I was like playing around with that color when I was making the palette. So I've got the pigment or the eyeshadow I should say. And then I'm just going to pack that on that inner lid. I know you'll be wondering like how does this like match with the drink but it does have that green kind of throwback to it which I really think looks cool so we've got like the warm colors the yellowy colors the green and then just kind of like a mixture of a couple of those colors like since this color here has the browns and the greens in it So I'm just kind of bringing that in the inner corner and then I'm going to mix in another color with the Shenexo palette. I'm going to go in with that very middle color, the bronze. This is one of my favorite colors from the palette. I don't use it enough. And I'm just going to pack that over top and on the middle of my eyelid and kind of blend it into the terracotta color. I'm just flipping over this brush I'm using, the tart one, and I'm going to just deepen up that terracotta color again because I did blend it out quite a lot. I actually love the way these colors look together. Like it's really fun. So hopefully you can see a little bit of that green reflect. Now I'm going back in with a mixture of the yellow color and the terracotta and just putting that in the crease again just to soften. Now I've just cleaned off this brush with some brush cleaner and I'm going to take that duochrome color once again. I'm going to run that just on that outer kind of corner on top of that mint base. And then I'm going to bring it in. But I'm kind of bringing it underneath the mint color. Can you see what I mean? I feel like that makes it look way more minty. Now I'm just going to take the bone kind of color from my palette and this is an angled eye brush. I'm just highlighting my brow bone. And I'm just taking that same color on a pencil brush for my inner corner. Now I'm going to do some ombre eyeliner just for fun. This is the Razor Sharp in Kush by Urban Decay. I'm going to do the green like all over where that joy chrome is, like to halfway, and then black just on the outer edge just to define my eye. And I'm just using Perversion, the black version of, oh that rhymed, <laughs> the black version of the Razor Sharp liner by Urban Decay. Just like that, and we will blend those two colors together somehow. <gasps> this black eyeliner is so good. Look at that. Okay, so we're just doing something like that. Looks really weird at the moment, but hopefully once we put on the lashes and liner, it'll look good. So today I'm going to use Roller Lash by Benefit. But first I'm going to put some, look how cute this tiny little jaw is. Some jaw on my hand just to start getting tacky. I'm trying so hard not to get this on the green. <laughs> oh god, I've got some like eyeliner on my eyelash and now it's going clumpy. I just dropped my mascara wand in my hand. No! Nah. Personally, I like this so much better than the Real by Benefit. I'm team roller lash. So that's just one coat there. Like, look at the difference. I actually really like this eye makeup look. Woo! If you can tell, I was just making it up as I went. <laughs> Seriously, I like barely need falsies. I just love falsies so I'm going to wear some today. I'm going to try some new ones. I'm going to use a little black track in my tight line just because you can kind of see like my skin tone. I am just going to use an eyeliner brush by EXO Beauty. The reason I love black track is it doesn't like transfer down so I don't have to worry about that mint color but actually I still do need to touch it up because I got some mascara on it. Okay I'm going to put on my lashes and then oh my god this lighting is so good all of a sudden. This is like true color guys. So you can see that color on my inner corner, like how it's kind of like green and brown and gold, like, oh. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna do lashes and I wanna try these ones here. These are the Shelby Slay Lashes. This is what the packaging looks like and these are really nice like long cluster kind of strip lashes. And then I'm just going to run the lashes through the glue on the back of my hand because it'll be nice and tacky from the warmth of my hand. My left eyelash went on real easy and this other one is just like not sitting. 
Ah, this mascara does not want to come off. Okay, I look bright orange on camera. I promise I am not. We're going to bronze with the NARS Seaside Bronzer. It's the new one that looks like this. I'm going to use a medium face brush. And I'm using this color because it's super warm. So it kind of goes with that like bourbon theme. I'm going to use this blush here. It's called Baby Love by Too Faced. And this is a uh, tapered fiber brush. And of course to contour, I'm using my favorite from the Tartist Pro and a domed contour brush. And then to go with the minty theme, I don't know if this is a good idea or a terrible idea, I'm going to use this shade here, Laser, and it's from the Black Light Highlight Palette by BH Cosmetics. I'm going to use a small face brush so I can really buff it in. There we go, the highlighter is all done. I'm just gonna add a little more blush. For lipstick today, I am going to use one from my lip palette. This side here, I think I'm just going to mix like these two together. First, I'm going to use Honey Bun by Marc Jacobs to line my lips a little. The lighting stayed like this all the time and be very happy. So this is like proper colors. Okay, so I'm going to take a lip brush and that bottom nude color. And then a little bit of that middle nude color. And that's how the lips look. So just to recap, I used that on most of my lip. And then this color just here, just on the edges a little bit. Just to create a little bit more volume. The lashes look really pretty. They're really long and really flirty. This is a weird pose. <laughs> so that is the completed look inspired by the 56 Julep. Mint Julep bourbon and mint and brown sugar. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Something a little bit fun and different. I love the eye makeup and you could pair it with like a brown lip or something and that would look amazing. In fact, it would probably look better than this. Let me know what cocktail you want to see next. I'll do the most requested one next. Leave a comment down below. Question of the day also, what is your favorite food at the moment? Mine is definitely Indian food. Oh, I can't get enough. There's this one and it's called like a Menthe, menthe Malai or Menthe something Malai. Holy crap, it's so good. It's got like fenugreek in it and it's so creamy. Like cashew cream, cashew nuts. Oh, so good. Let me know down below what your favorite food is. And until next time, I will talk to you again really soon. Bye.